All right, I'm going to jump rope for warm-ups today. Let's do some uh, body movements. All right, just let it jump in jacks 20 times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's check the range when my head disappears. Eight, nine, ten. That's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty. One, two, seal jumps. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Shoulders down, shoulders up, shoulders down, shoulders up. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, single hand. And relax, good job. Shake it off, bouncing your toes a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. One hand on the shoulder, move your arm forward. One, two, three, four, five, backwards, five, four, three, two, and one. Another arm forward. One, two, three, four. Five, backwards five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Let one hand go behind your back, the other one hits you on the chest across. One, two, start looking behind yourself, three as far as you can. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Good. I'm going to circle the elbows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Feet together. Stretch down. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Up to the ceiling. One, two, three, four. Fingers together. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're going to go down. Scrape the floor all the way around. One, two, three, four, five. Switch. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now push your hips forward and go around. Forward, go the other way. Two, three, four, five, six. Straight forward as far as you can. Rotate it back. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. Good. Keep your uh, uh, legs straight. Okay. We're gonna go from here. We're gonna dip down to one side. We're gonna bring both hands down, around, up to the other side, and then we're gonna tilt back in a circular motion. Again, hand goes down. One, all the way around, up, and then rotate. Down. All the way around, come up, lean back, and circle back to center. Other side, one, both hands down, scoop all the way up, rotate back to the center. Left arm down, all the way around, rotate back in the center. One more, down, straight the floor, up, and rotate. Good. Take it off. Rotate your foot, circular, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. Another way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. Another foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Another way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One foot on the floor. We're gonna lift our foot. We're gonna make circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One another leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Take your eight now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If you drop it, get back into an eight. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Warm up those hips. Seven. Eight, good, other foot, ready? One, two, three, four, if I have one good leg, one bad leg, five, six, seven, eight, other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, good. Walk around on your balls of your feet, ready? 10 seconds, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. Walk on the inside, outside edge of your feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Inside edge kind of feels weird. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just up those ankles. And eight, nine, and ten. And just on your heels. One, toes up. Two, three. Walk it around. Four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. We're gonna lift our knee and open it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Just feel your hips. Ready? Inside. Other leg. Sorry. Inside out. One, two. Three, four, five. You can do it without dropping the legs. Six, go ahead. Seven, you can just drop it. It's fine. Two, eight, other way. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Very good. Shake it up. Let's uh, have a seat. Okay, shake your legs up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. How's the spot for the camera? It's okay. Let's go straight down the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. One leg in. Stretch down with a straight leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One side. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Butterfly. Bring them in. Shake them up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push down with your elbows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. One leg back. Drop your chest towards your forward shin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come up, twist away from the back leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Try to make circles now without touching the floor with your hands. One, two, three, four, five. The other way, five. Four, three, two, and one. Switch legs. Press the chest forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come up, twist away from the back leg. One, two, should feel it here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Circular. One, two, Three, move your head around, chest three out four, and switch. One, two, three, four, 
And five. Get there. Let's go. Be the partner. Push them out. All right, let's go to the left side. Hold it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stretch down the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hit the legs a little bit. Loosen them up. Bring them in, feet on the floor, twisting side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, stay in the same position. Then scoot back, uh, keep your butt off the floor, and push forward. Feel the shoulders, back, and forward again. Deeper, back, hold it, and forward. And stop. Okay, gonna go off the charts a little bit today and teach you guys how to stand up the right way off the floor. So the jiu-jitsu move, if you fell on the floor, there's a right way to stand up. Um, I'm gonna start to add a, a little element of this self-defense in the ground for the people um, that are watching so you guys can learn some moves that are good for uh, extra, um, good for being on the ground for self-defense. Okay, that we can do it all. So, everybody sit like me, we're gonna put our uh, body on our side. We're going to put our both hands on the floor. Okay. Before we get into punching and kicking, let's learn how to stand up off the floor. You bend your, if you're facing your right side, both hands on the floor, you bend your left leg. Okay. You put all the weight on your left leg and you lift your butt and you bring your foot through the hole and you get to a, sit like a table, four point stance, and then you come up. Okay. If you actually watch a little baby stand up, that's actually how they stand up the right way. Okay. So, but well, we're going to take one hand away and make it more advanced in a second. But right now, two hands on the floor to your right side. Bend your left leg. Lift your weight. Bring your bottom leg through. Four points. Stand up. Now you're in your fighting stance. Okay? So, we're not going to do it like a baby. Now we're going to do it with one, uh, one hand instead of two. So, both hands over here. Same position. Lift your front hand. Forward hand up. And then do the same motion. Going for three points. And up. Okay? And we can add to this each, each class. Okay, so from here, everybody turn on your side. You lift your front hand up. Left leg is bent, right arm is posted. Bring it through, lift. You have to tilt, head down, butt back. Bring your leg through and around. Close your hand. All right, guys, good warm up. So practice that. Every time you get up on the floor, that's what I want to see. All right, let's get to the punching and kicking. We're going to start off with. Um, T-frame motion, one minute, okay? All three of the punches. First, let's start T-frame for some of the newer people. Ready, let's go. Let's gonna do a minute, so we'll do about 15 seconds with no punches. Everybody twisting, side to side. Remember, this has to be automatic, twisting. Lifting your heel, no tension in the body. My body's super loose, my hands are out. You can see them dangling, just twisting. Turning the body, keep staring forward. Good, now we're gonna add some punches. Let's start straight punches now. You guys know the drill. If it's your first time tuning in, you're probably going to want to go back to workout number one, two, all the way through ten. And this is number eleven. We we'll keep building on what we learned. From the earlier videos, I gave you a little deeper explanation of the fundamentals. Let's go. Add a hook now. Let's go, everybody. Lift the elbow, thumb up. Two types of hooks. There's hooks like this and like this. I always punch like this. Depends on personal preference. Depends on your coach. Turning, turning. You see, I'm fully sideways. I'm just adding a punch, bringing my other elbow back in. Okay, what's our third punch we've been working on the last couple lessons? Yes, uppercut. Pinky turns, other hand goes back to your face, 90 degrees, let's go. From your cheek, scoop. Exaggerate your turn. Okay, now for the next 30 seconds, you can do any of them, okay? Let's go, hooking, it's up to you. Straight punches, getting the body warm, Pop a few uppercuts. Each one can be different. Makes it a little bit tougher, a little more mentally challenging. Try to keep the head still, turning the body. You guys keep doing that. 10 more seconds. Let's work.
and a tie. All right, I'm going to go through a couple sets of uh, basic combinations. Starting with the jab, then the jab knee, and then the jab body kick, or low kick, or head kick. It's up to you. Ready? Let's do the jab. Hands up. One, touch. Two, exhale as a starting position and a finished position. Three, both the same. Four, five, six, touch. Seven, touch. Nice and loose. Eight, nine, ten. Let's add the knee. Ready? Here we go. Let's see better. Okay. One, jab, step, knee. Like I said, we'll break them down in the earlier videos. Two, jab, step, knee. Three, four, five, six, square that body up to the knee, seven, eight, two more, nine, you can change angles as well, ten, that's out of the body kick now. Just quickly go over the details. Jab, before you kick, open your toes, step your foot, put some weight on that foot, turn your chest and your shoulders, hand can go in line with your hip, hand can go out for defense, hands can even stay up. Okay, let's go. One, top turn, two, three, Turn that chest before you're kicking, you'll find the leg really swings. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Good work. Hands back up. Eyebrow height. How do we check our hands high enough? Binoculars. Open them up. Eight. Nine. One more. Ten. And rest. Fifteen seconds. We'll go back to the top of that again for one more set. Deep breath. Exhale. All right, we're ready. A little quicker now. Second set. First set's getting the joints loose, muscles loose. A little quicker now. Remember, for turning, advanced people, back leg to turning. We talked about our last clap, but our front leg. It sometimes turn me if I'm being the aggressor and I have no pressure against me. Okay? Hands up. Let's go jab. One. Two. Elbows in. Chin down. Bring your head down to your hands. Three. Can't reach him. What do we do? Four. Step. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Sometimes standing still. Nine. Ten. Add the knee. One. Two. Three. Remember, so about being able to place the leg back where you started. Okay? Keep your balance. Five. Six. Seven. most important. One more. One. Let's add the kick. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven.
Okay, we're gonna start to move now. And again, going over the box drill, do the review. Hands up, body stance, let's go forward. One, two, right, one, two. Make sure your foot, your feet are not in a straight line, ever. Backwards, if you move this foot first, they get in a straight line this way. Backwards, backwards, left foot first, left, left. How are your hands up? Binoculars, chin down, super loose. Forward, one, two. I like to keep this foot pointed a little bit forward so I can check kicks, I can pull away from kicks, I can grab kicks. Let's go, one, right, right, backwards. Let those elbows dip in, left, forward. Let's change directions, left, back, back foot first, right, right foot first. Forward, forward foot first. You can remember that way. Left, left foot first. Okay, this doesn't become automatic. Let's go. Do whatever you want now. Next 20 seconds. Go left, go forward, go right, go left, go right, go back, go forward. Okay, keep going. The only thing you have to think about is two, two directions. If you're touching your heel first on the right one, you're doing it wrong. You need to touch the ball of the foot first or the whole foot flat. Same thing when you're going forward. Don't touch your heel first. Watch it. Whole foot. You see? Follow the foot first. And time. Very good. Okay, next combination can be set to 10. We're gonna do jab, jab uppercut, jab uppercut, lead, get into some sprawls, and then punch them. Alright, so let's start off with the jab here. Can't do enough jabs. Ready? One, two, three, take into the ground. Four, touch. Five, get your chin down. Good. Six, exhale. Seven, advance guys, get a little bit of movement, add your head movement. Eight, nine, 10, follow the lead uppercut. We've been, the last couple of classes have been all about the uppercut. Let's get the lead uppercut going, ready? One, jab, pull, scoop. Two, jab, pull back, scoop. Three, turn the pinky at the end, 90 degrees. High as the eyebrow. Remember, we go over these a little slower in the other video, the previous workouts. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Good. Eight. Keep it going. Nine. Nice. Ten. Good. Okay, now we're gonna add the cross. Again, one of my favorite techniques, the jab, lead uppercut cross. One, jab, pull back with the heel, uppercut cross. Two, three, loose, I don't want to go too fast right now. Four, five, six, try to turn that back foot on the right hand. Seven, Right back, right back. Foot, not just the hand, the foot, watch my foot. If we put too much weight, common mistake we put too much weight, we can't put the foot down, you see? You need to keep 50% on each foot, all the time, ready? One, two, and we're gonna sprawl 10 times, here we go. One, sprawl, get up, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. I forgot to explain. If your ground's too, too uh, solid, too, too hard, do squats or do burpees. Okay. Or if the, these are a little too difficult, which it can be, do burp, do squats. Burpees are like this. One, two. Your knees don't slam in the ground. Okay. Two more. One, two. Hand punch it out, not stop. Let's go. Left punch, right punch. Turn in the shoulders. Try to keep your front foot flat. Feel the shoulders changing. That's what you want. Keep going. From your cheekbones, chin down. Should be starting to sweat pretty good now. Let's go. Do it from your face. And great job. Lock it off. We'll go back to the top and do it again. Top, what 
goes first. You guys tell me. Jab. All right, let's go. One. A little quicker now. Second set. Two. Three. Still loose though. Four. Five. Six. So you want to step, big step in? Go ahead. You have the space there. Seven. Eight. Nine. Two in a row there. Ten. Okay, what do we follow it up with? Exactly. Lead up and cut. One. Two. Three. Stay loose. You don't try hard. Work the, book, work the technique, the rotation, the relaxation. Ready? Five. Six. If you're just jumping in one of your first workouts, go back and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. I'll explain all this stuff a little slower. But if not, it doesn't matter. You can still follow along. But you'll get a deeper explanation when you go back to those earlier videos. Ready? One. Two. Let's add a cross. One. Two. Three. Back up. Four. Five. Six. Couple more. Seven. Eight. Shot of water. All right. Back to circling. So we're always touching on new techniques, but we're also going back and reviewing, making sure that we remember. Let's circle to the right. Ready? Here we go. Right, left, right, left. Not touching the heel first. Hands up. Get a minute drill. Right, left. Big, small. Make sure the first step is bigger than the second step. Always work on where do you want to keep your hands up. Less is more. I see a lot of us, and some of the videos I've seen, and some of the features we're dropping these and doing extra stuff here. Okay, just keep it still. Save that energy. Let's go the other way. Ready? Slight angle change first. And let's go left. It's more, a little bit easier for the right hand to go this way. Keep your body bladed. You're going to sometimes want to get squared up. Too much target. Keep your body bladed. See, from my upper body, waist up. Nothing happened, you see? Just waist down is the action. Go right. And let's go. Big, small. Big, small. This one now. Big, small. A little angle change. Good, work on keeping your eyes on your opponent. Feel the size of your steps. Sometimes you can go fast, right? But you don't cross them ever. In a split second, you should be able to stop and be in our fighting position, okay? Very good, keep going. Move a little left, move a little right, move a little left, and we'll get on to the next series of techniques. All right, we're going to do the jab, not the cut, and then a kick. So same thing we've been working on, except for last time we followed the cross, now we're going to do the, the kick. Ready? One, jab, back, uppercut, kick. Let's go. Nice and smooth at first, get a feel. Two, turn that chest. Three, four, If you have time, you can get off the line, you can take even a bigger step. 
It's like a soccer ball. If I'm going to kick it, the bigger step, the more power. Same thing with kicking. Sometimes you have time to step more, and sometimes you can't step at all. Okay? Hands up. Five. Bigger step. Six. Seven. A little higher. Eight. Nine. And time. All right, everybody circles the right. Let's go. We're going to go cross, hook, cross. Remember to catch him. As he chases us, stop. Cross, hook, cross. Box. Let's go. Move to the right. Two. Move to the right. Every time you're done. Three. One, two, three. I don't hit. Oh, is he going to hit me? And then I move. I know. It's a fight. He's going to try to hit me. So when I'm done my three, I'm already on the bike. See? I'm already moving. I, don't, I just anticipate he's good. And he's going to come back with a punch or a kick. What? Cross hook, cross, and get on the bike. And you'll be surprised. The guy misses you. You're like, ooh, that was good. Two. The jump was right. Ready? Three. Get on the bike. Four. Five. Sometimes it might be right away. Sometimes they might not even come in. And then we just start fighting again. Okay? And rest. Walk it up. Ten seconds. We'll go back again. Okay, hands up. Let's go jab, uppercut, kick. One. Have that step. Two. Three. Don't be too bent. If you're too bent, it's hard to kick. You gotta find the happy medium between solid boxing position and the Muay Thai position where we're ready to kick with a little more straight. You know, you can't. You kind of sacrifice your punches when you're very straight and you're a little more open for boxing, but then you, you can sacrifice your kicks if you're a little too low. So you gotta kind of find a happy medium, and that's up to you to kind of find that, ready? One, jab, upper, kick. Good, if you keep your feet closer together, you're more likely to find it sooner. Keep them close. Two. Ready? Three. Good, okay, let's try something a little different. We're gonna do Uppercut with the right hand, uppercut with the left hand, double uppercut. One. Okay, so watch the footwork on this. Up with the heel, not up with his heel. Down with the heel. Okay, so that's a little tricky. Up, no hooking, right? See the foot? Up and then down, okay? Other hand comes back to your face. One. Two. Three. 99, let's go, 90 degrees. Four, five, it's all about your balance. Six, let your elbow sink back in. Seven, eight, you might not necessarily use this, but it's challenging your mind in a different way, right? Ten, and circle, let's go. Circle to the right. What are we catching with? Cross or cross. One, Move. Keep your butt back. Remember when we move, look, we're always hollow here. Two. Hands up high. Three. Turn it. Four. Try to think, as soon as this one is done, the next one fills the spot. As soon as this, that fills the spot. Okay? Let's pick up that speed for two more. Ready? One. See so how it fills the gap? Two, and lock it off. Good job. Let's take 15, 20 seconds. Let's get on to the next drill. I lied. Let's get back here. Call on your back. Front kicks. Here we go. Ready? One, two, 30 times. Three, four, five, six, stab. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10 more, 10, 9, 8, duck feet, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now take your break, 15 seconds. Jab cross, set to eight, then we're at the body kick, and then we're going to circle again. Here we go, okay? Short sets, two, three exercises. Jab cross, let's go slow the first time. One, one, two, back to your face. Two, jab cross. Try to keep your left hand from being in the center. So now we're getting more prepared for greater detail, okay? So you never want your hand to punch from the middle. That's a common mistake. Then you end up flicking. Your jab is very weak and it's easy to punch over. And you want to see that punch coming, it'll just be matches over. So you want to punch in front of your ear here. Eyebrow height, open the binoculars, got it. And then you're going to punch right from that in, right from that position and back that position. I know it doesn't make sense. Sometimes you feel like I want to be in here, but you just have to trust me. Okay, ready? Here we go. One, touch. Two, jab cross. Now do your jab cross from there. Three, four, five. Six, elbows in, sink down. Seven, it's like a game of tag. Eight, nine, ten. Let's add the left body kick. One, let's do it this way first. One, two, stepping, turning, kicking. Ready? Let's go eight times. One, one, two, walking, turn. Two, three. Back your leg and just swing it across. Got to make sure that this foot's open though, otherwise you're going to have a hard time with your hips. See, that enables you to turn your chest more. If you're like that, it's not going to work. Got to point it out. Three. Four. Let the momentum of your upper body carry that leg over. Five. One, two, upper body. Leg last. Six. Seven. Both legs straight. Eight, and circle to the right. Let's go five punches. Cross, hook, cross, upper, cross. Catch them five times now, ready? One, and on the bike. Two, back the elbows in, hands up. Three, moving, watch them. Four, and five, and walk it off. Get a little more speed now, a little less talking. Let's let it flow. What's our first combination, everybody? Exactly, jab cross. Here we go. Ready? Settle in. Work on your hands. You should be able to see everything here. Don't block your vision. One, two, work on keeping the feet close together. I'm doing that myself. I'll find some time to get a little wide. Three, four. When your feet are close, you can turn your shoulders faster. It enables you to do much faster combinations. Five, Six, not to mention, stopping takedowns, blocking low kicks, moving away from low kicks. Eight, nine, follow with the left kick. One, two, half turn, frame up. Three, nice, four, five, Six, step off to the right. That also helps you stay off the line of fire. If I just kick now, punch will hit me. Step off so that you're off the line of fire. Six, seven, eight, and circle to the right. You 
got it. Let's go. I don't even have to tell you what to do. Here we go. One. You got it. Let's go. I'll help you again. Ready? Two. Cross. Hook. Cross. Upper. Cross. Three. Moving. Four. Surprisingly, on your own, I like to do another three steps. Five. But in the fight, it could be one, it could be seven. Never know. Six. Seven. And walk it off. One more time. Same thing. Now, if you feel it's a bit advanced for you, go back and do the previous lessons. One to ten. And each class will build on the next. You might even have to do, you know, it might be beneficial to do number one a few times. And then two a few times. And then three. You can really master this stuff. If you guys keep that in mind. Okay? All right, here we go. I'm sweating, I don't know about you guys. I hope you're sweating over there. Okay, let's go jack cross. One, two, what are we aiming for for speed? Fast and flat. Three, four, five, six, seven, let's do quick hands. Eight, Add the uh, left body kick. One, so you can do a low kick right inside his leg. Two, three. That one knocks their, knocks their balance right out. Right inside their ankle or their thigh or their back leg. Five, six, seven, and eight. Good job. All right, take a 30 second break, shot of water, on to the next set. Don't be, don't be, uh, don't be afraid to take a break once in a while if you're getting tired, walk it off a little bit, and then jump back into the mix. Jump back into the action. And if you haven't uh, sent me a picture, if you train, send me a pic. I love seeing those pics. Makes me feel like I'm not just staring at a camera by myself. All right, here we go. Let's go alternating body kicks, 30 seconds, or 30 times. One, two, three, four, five. Drop your kicking hand, six, or you're gonna reach your kicking hand out. Seven, regardless, you're tucking your chin down behind your shoulder. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, turn, 15, 16, 17, other hand up, 18, 19, back hand up, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, the next set we're gonna be doing jab rear uppercut, jab uppercut front, cross and cross, and then we're gonna do I just want to make sure I didn't miss one here for you guys. I think we're good. Okay. Then I'm going to do a jab, uppercut lead, cross, step by the kick. So, this one gets a little bit, uh, a little more confusing. Okay. Hands up. You guys got the techniques already. So we're putting them together in a different order. Jab, rear uppercut. First set. One. Right? We turn that pinky, we go vertical. Two. Turn that back foot maximum. Three. Remember, we'll keep that hand outside. Four. Five. Change angles. Use that turning motion. Six. Seven. Eight. Imagine you're hitting something with your shoulder. How far would you have to turn? That's what you need to do. And then the punch is an extension of that. Eight. All right, now I'm going to do a jab, a lead up and cut, cross with cross. Lots of boxing skill now. Okay? Hands up. One, jab, pull back, uppercut, cross. We've already done that. Hook, cross on top of that. Okay? Let's go. I'll go slow first. One, two, jab, lead upper, cross, hook, cross. I'm trying to get that T frame incorporated. Four, five, six, seven, 
Eight. Try two more. Nine. Good. Ten. One more. Good. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take away the hook cross and add a body kick instead. So let's go. One. Jab. Back. Uppercut. Cross. Step. Kick the body. And let's go. Two. Jab. Upper cross, kick the body. Three, you got it. Four, don't forget to walk off the line of fire. Five, six, both legs straight when you kick. Seven, and eight, and rest. We'll go back to the beginning again. How's everybody doing? Let's keep it working. And like I said, if one particular lesson is either going to make you too tired, then you can do it again. Or it's going to be a little maybe too technical, then you go back one lesson. Prior lesson, two prior lessons, right? Two lessons prior. And just keep going until you feel comfortable. All right, here we go. Back to the top. We're gonna do a jab, lead uppercut. Jab, rear uppercut, sorry, here we go. One, two, this is good. So we didn't do as many rear uppercuts yet today. Three, turn it. Four, is touch, this is just a touch. Touch, touch, turn. Five, it's the snap that hurts, not the pushing. Six, how fast you snap it back to your beginning position. Seven, how fast you back to starting position. Eight, let's add a cross hook cross to the jab, lead up and cut cross hook cross. One, jab, lead, cross hook cross. Two, three, four, good, five, Come on, keep it going. Change directions. Move around the living room. Give your husband or wife a little bit of footwork. A little fancy. Whoa, let's go. Here we go. One. Two. And one more. Three. What do we got next? Jab, uppercut, cross, body kick. One. Stay with me. Let's go. Two. Three, watch where you land, balance. Four, five, good, six, two more, seven, low kick, eight, high kick, and punch it up, 15 seconds, go, as fast as you can, towards me, let's go. I'm watching, get those hands up. Chin down. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk it off. Deep breath. One more time. Good job. Like I said, there's nothing like martial arts. Hitting bags, hitting pads. Even shadow boxing like this, great cardio, great, you know, realistic conditioning. You'd be surprised how, how tiring it can be if you haven't come in for a regular class before. What's our mind saying now, everybody? Fresh, energized, excited to fight, all right? Let's go. Here we go. Woo! What do we got first? Jab, rear uppercut. One! This is your quickest set now. Two! Imagine you're in a sparring match. Self-defense. Three. That's it. Keep your guard up. Respect the other person. Anybody can get caught with a punch. Keep your hands up. Four. I'd rather not see if I have a good chin. Five. Always blocking, always moving the feet. Get on the bike. All right? Six. Seven. One more. Eight. All right, we go jab, lead uppercut, cross across. 
Get in there, guys. Let's go. One. Those elbows in. Be relaxed. Sleepy, easy work. Two. Three. Four. Nice work. You get tired, skip one, get back in the next one. That was a trick. Don't miss any reps. Let's go. Five. Six. Take your breath. Shake it out. Jab, lead up or cut. Cross and then body kick. Ready? Here we go. You with me? All right. One. One, two, three, step, kick. Two. One, two, three, step, kick. Three. Just let your limbs do the work. Relax. Four. That step in momentum. Five. When you land, hands up. Six. Good. Seven. Give him a low kick. Boom. Kick the legs up. Eight. And punch it out. Not stop. Go. 15 seconds. You got it. Keep your front foot flat. Turning your shoulders. Arms are extension of those shoulders. Let's go. 10 seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Tuck your chin. Three. Two, one, lock it off, strong. Woo, nice work. Come on, 10 seconds. We're almost done. Round, maybe a little ground and pound, and then some conditioning. You guys come a long way since the first day. Good job. Send me good shape from all this. I really haven't struck done a lot of striking seriously for many years now for my own training. Coaching and classes and everything like that. Yeah, all the time, all the time, all the time. Details, details, details. But for my own body, you know, it's, it's uh, like I said, it's been tough with the uh, post concussion stuff. I'm not able to get in there and spar, so you know, I can't always put those tools to use. So I do a lot of jujitsu. I'm rolling twice a day. Uh, so it feels good to get the hands flying again, get the body moving. There's nothing. Uh, Nothing like it really, so let's keep it up guys. Shadow boxing round now. We're gonna make it like a fight. Follow along. If I say freestyle, it's your time to work your game. Maybe you've been liking certain kicks. You might like a kick more than I like it. You might like a punch more than I like it, right? So you make your own style. All right, here we go. You guys ready? Five minute round. All right, let's go. Let's 
move around. Let's look at this guy. Let's touch gloves, ready? Front hand, now your back hand, touch gloves, yes. Here we go. Eventually you start to see your opponent. I can see my opponent right now. Let's go, jack. Jab cross. That's it. Put in the jab cross. Let's do that five times. Two more. At the hook. Over and over again, guys. Get a little tired, you put a little bit of movement in between. That's what you have to do in a fight if you're tired, right? That's okay. Want to work the condition? Take less breaks. Let's follow with a low kick. So you push their head and then they can't check the kick. Ready? One. Hands back up. Two. You can step off the line for more power. Three. Four. Okay, try this trick now. Jab, cross, just smack him in the head. Then lick the uh, smack in the ear. And then I'll put the weight for the low kick. One. Jab, cross, smack, low kick. Or high kick. He's nice there too. Two. One, two, smack. Kick a little higher. Three. One, two, smack. Kick. Four. One, two, smack. Kick. Sprawl or squat. Nice. Get back up. Jab, uppercut. One. Two. Three. Do a couple on your own time. What do you follow that up with? Hook. Good idea. Let's go. Keep working. Follow that with the right hand. Good. Follow that with the left kick. Follow that with a cross hook cross. So we don't have to spin around. Let's do that. One, two, three, four step kick, cross hook cross. Try it again. Jab, upper hook cross step, kick forward, cross hook cross. Again. Jab, upper hook cross step, kick, cross hook cross. Double jab while you're thinking. Touch. One jab. Two jab. Three jab. Remember, you gotta match your steps. Let's do it again. One jab. Two. Three. Knee. Step knee. Knee. What should we do before that knee? Exactly. Jab. Knee. Jab cross step knee. All right? Fill in those gaps. Jab cross step knee. Jab knee. Jab knee. And then kick. Jab cross step knee. Put it behind. And then kick. Good. Front kicks, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, circle. Okay, they're chasing us. Tell me what to do. One. All right, five punches. Or three. Two. Three. Spin off, double jab. We haven't done that yet, but that's spin off, jab out. Let's go. Push kick, front leg, jump kick, good, jab, jab cross, double jab cross, work your way in, double jab cross, tuck that chin, double jab cross, back it up, double jab cross, jab, jab cross, jab, jab cross, jab, jab, upper, jab, jab, upper hook cross, double jab out, nice, sprawl, good. Down to 30 seconds, jab. Double jab, cross. Double jab, cross, hook, cross. Double jab, cross, hook, cross, follow with the left kick. Good. Knee. Grab their head. Knee, 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 knee. Let's bring it up to your armpit. Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, towards your armpit. Five pulls. Five, four, three. Two, one, punch it up to the end. Let's go. 15 seconds after the buzzer. Come on. 
I'm watching. Speed, work. From your cheekbones. Turn. Turn the shoulders. Uppercuts. Speed. Time. Five minutes. High five. Walk it off, get your ground and pound target. If you have a pillow, grab a pillow. Grab a pad, grab a pad. Remember, go grab a family member. It's not very nice. Give another 30 seconds. Slow the heart rate down, five minute rounds, tough round. One minute left. 
Let's go. Everything goes now. Work. Mountain. Side control. Changing positions. Let's go. Be freestyle. You don't even know what's going to happen. You got to be able to flow with how they move. Go to mount. Go to knee on stomach. In the, in the guard until you can pass the guard. Keep working. Want to work that conditioning. Let's go. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Let's go. Everything goes. Good work. And time. Very good. All right, throw your pad away. Good stuff. And we'll do a little bit of conditioning to finish up. Not that this wasn't all conditioning in itself. And we'll do another exercise before we go. Okay, my pick today, we're gonna go back to that push-up countdown. You guys ready? I know you like that one. Okay, so I'm gonna count to eight and then back down to, to one, okay? We'll see how we do, okay? Here we go. Ready? So I'm going to do one push-up, then I'm going to look at you, and you guys are going to do one push-up while I rest. And then I'll do two, and then you do two, and then three, and then four, and five, and then I'll explain as we go. Okay? Ready? Here we go. I do one, you guys don't do it yet. One, now you guys go. One, now me. One, two, you. One, two, me. One, two, three. One, two, three. Beautiful. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Three, four, that's gonna look good. One, two, three, four, five, your turn. One, two, three, four, five. Yell out at home when it's your turn to count those numbers. You ready? I don't wanna be the only guy yelling around. Let's go, my turn for six. One, two, three, four, five, six, your turn. Yell it out. One, two, three, four, five, six. My turn for seven. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, your turn for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight now for me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, your turn. Eight, one, two, three, let's hear it. Four, five, six, seven, eight, seven now. We're going back down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, your turn. One, two, three, Four, five, six, come on, fighter spirit. Now seven, my turn, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, home stretch. One, two, three, four, five, four for me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, almost done. One, two, three. We get the top. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, one. And relax. Not done yet. Same thing. Jack next. And then we're done for the day. You guys have come a long way. Ladies have come a long way. Let's keep on working. Ready? Here we go. I do a jackknife and you do one. Jackknife looks like this. I'll do a free one here. Ready? Touching the shins or the toes. My turn. One. You. One. My. One. Two. One. Two. One. My turn. Two. Three. You're resting. Now your turn. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. Four. Your turn. One. Two. Let's hear it. Three. For my turn, one, two, three, four, five. Here, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Your turn, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job. One, two, get to the top now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, finish strong. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, your turn. The end is near. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five.
Put one again. Put one again. One again. That time. Stretch it out. Arch your back. Good job. All right, that's a good, good work today. So my goal is, of course, to give you a great workout. Of course, to get a sweat, lose some stress. That feels makes me feel good. Was well, to give you the details, the technical details. If you have a mind for that, you're going to be able to develop your technique very quickly. Elbows in, chin down. Hear the lessons, write them down, study, be a student of the game, and that's going to help you be more efficient. When you're more efficient, you're gonna be able to punch faster. You're gonna be able to punch a kick with less injury, less soreness. You're gonna be able to do a lot more in a workout. You're always gonna challenge your conditioning, always. But let's be efficient. Let's be the most technical we can be. I think that's good in anything in life. You know, never do anything in mediocre. Always try to, you know, become highly detailed in whatever you're, you're trying to specialize in. And I think that'll, you know, carry you a long way. Okay, so great job today, guys. Appreciate all the messages, all the videos. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, lots of good stuff coming. Like I said, I'm back. I'm back on the YouTube channel. We're going to be building it up and doing some great stuff. So tomorrow I'll be releasing that video of me uh, breaking down my first uh, MMA fight. I'll see you soon.